Hey guys, Daniel here. Welcome back to Stuff and Things. A couple, uh, a couple few uh, interesting little tidbits came up recently in the news. I just want to share with you a few things interesting that, well, of course, you know, piqued my interest because they're interesting. That's what happens. First thing I want to mention is a fossilized egg of the extinct elephant bird recently went through an auction sold for 66,675 pounds, which is apparently twice the estimate of what they thought it would sell for. It's still a crap ton of money for just a big egg. I mean, it is a fairly substantial egg. It's like nine inches diameter. It's tall, of course, it's eggs, so it's longer, and it is wider. A really impressive thing, because this bird, again, has been a thing for quite a while now. It's been a couple hundred years since people have actually seen them. Um, we probably drove them to extinction, unfortunately, like we do most of the creatures that have died recently. The creature itself was pretty impressive. It's ostrich-like, grew up to about 11 feet at the maximum. Massive thing. Probably why we killed it. We were probably terrified of it. I mean, it's a big freaking bird. You've seen ostriches that can just go crazy at people. Imagine something 11 feet tall running at you. Probably why we killed it. And probably it tasted really good. People always say that they have emu meat. It tastes amazing. I'm assuming a giant version of that would probably taste good as well. Along with other extinct things, back in 2003, a man down in South America discovered what he thought, well, he couldn't even explain really what it was. It was a six inch long, uh, desiccated corpse of this humanoid thing. It's really creepy looking. I mean, it's kind of the standard kind of extraterrestrial thing we have going for it. The large head, the elongated, um, odd features. There's a ridge down the middle, but it is still humanoid. I mean, it still has the correct number of ribs of a human, it's got the right proportions, basically. Head's a little big, but that's just kind of normal for this kind of thing. Part of this documentary, which I really have no interest in seeing because it's about ET stuff and all that, which is just usually rubbish. A group of scientists, along with some people from Stanford uh, over in California, um, verified that the creature is in fact a relative of humans, of us. A little closer to us than it would be to chimpanzees. Some form of hominid. The thing, even though it's six inches long, is actually estimated to be anywhere from six to eight years old. How it survived childbirth is actually a complete mystery to these scientists. But pretty freaking amazing that something, it's literally only six inches. So you had a six inch thing walking around doing its thing for six or eight years? How did this even happen? Why aren't there records of this? Why isn't like some cave painting of some people and they're worshipping this tiny god or something? I can only imagine that's what it would be. He'd be this little guy, he'd be a god because he could talk and everything or something. See, could he talk? Probably not. He's small. Old courts. That would work. But if you are interested in catching the documentary that does feature this, um, it's called Sirius. It's out now, I guess. Apparently it was kickstarted. Okay, cool. And uh, you can apparently check it out. Link to the website will be down below. And for some out of, more out of the world, I guess, because of course people thought that was an extraterrestrial, and it's not. Anyways, I'm not gonna go that any further. Lunar eclipse happening. Pretty cool when the uh, Earth's shadow casts over the moon and then we get this cool coloration. It's gonna be a very partial shadow, very light. It's only apparently gonna be like 27 minutes long. Fortunately, us in North America are gonna not be able to see it. So we're just gonna get the moon, same as normal. Uh, but apparently in India, this is going to get the absolute best view of it. Um, everyone in the India Ocean region is going to get a really great view starting about a little bit after 3. Um, anyways, just after 3 you can start watching. That's Eastern time, so whenever that is for your local times. What's that like? Middle of the night? India? I'm too tired to do that. Um, for us in North America and other places of Europe and South America and all that who cannot view it, um, the site SLU, S-L-O-O-H, Google it. They are doing a live streaming from a set of robotic telescopes down in the Canary Islands. So, excellent. We, they will be able to actually see it. Tune in um, sometime after 3. They'll start live streaming that and you can actually see it for yourself. Wonderful age we live in where, you know, stuff can happen that, you know, we cannot see. I cannot see it, but I can then view it. Someone else is seeing it, sharing it to everyone across the world. Wonderful. And finally, speaking of things that have been shared across the world due to the wonders of the internet, a Reddit user actually discovered um, something of interest. Well, it's, it's interest to me. I don't know. It's funny. A photo popped up on the Spirit and Opportunity rovers part of the website of NASA. Um, those older rovers that one they lost contact with and the other one's doing its thing up to 2010, I think. Anyways, a picture of what it looks like with the one of the rovers went down. 
well, did a little turn thing, then it went down, and then it did a couple more turn things. Basically, they used the drovers to draw a penis on Mars. You know we live in the future when we draw penises on Mars. We're here, guys. This, this is what we've been waiting for. The time is now, okay? This is the future, officially, right now. I, at least at the time of this filming of this, uh, NASA has not said yay or nay as to if this is actually legit, if somebody photoshopped it there just for, you know, the lulls. But if it's real, that's just even more amazing. Go NASA, go to the people down there, having fun. It's not even offensive, it's a penis. We half of, a little over half of the population of the Earth has them. And, you know, it's funny. I mean, leaving our mark in a very, it's a very, very human way to leave your mark. Think about it. Read your history books. Penis is everywhere. But anyways, that's the roundup of things I found interesting lately. Yeah, what I'd like to know from you guys is, if you had the opportunity to use a rover to draw something on Mars, what would it be? I think the penis would be, I mean, that's just classic. Or boobs. Whatever. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below. And if you like what you've seen, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And we will see you on the next video.